Dozens of families out of their homes this morning after firefighters evacuate an apartment complex on Downing and 22nd. Our Eric Lufer there all morning talking to some of those residents. Eric? Good morning. A lot of residents very scared with what happened. It was a very dramatic scene for them. We got a closer look now. We've moved a little bit closer to the front of this apartment complex, the Shorter Arms apartment complex, which is off of 22nd and Downing. You can see where the window was broken out, where firefighters went in to fight this fire. The walls blackened inside, glass on the ground. Here's what we know so far from firefighters. Take a look at some video when I was first on scene here. The call came in just before 2 o'clock this morning. Crews saw heavy smoke and flames coming from the window that I showed you just a few seconds ago. And that's when they had to evacuate 40 people from this apartment complex. There are 20 apartments on the bottom floor, 20 on the top. One suffered the most damage, but there was a lot of smoke damage as well. People had to be rescued from the second floor, and then they were out in the cold. They were provided blankets so they could try to stay warm. At one point, an RTD bus came out so they could stay warm in those buses. No one was taken to the hospital, but they were clearly scared. Listen. I honestly froze. I know you're supposed to run, but I froze, and I didn't know what to do. I woke my son up. He woke up scared, crying. Um, he thought we were going to die. I did, too. So you can see clearly very dramatic for a lot of people here. Fortunately, a lot of the residents are allowed to go back, especially on the second floor, but a lot of the damage was done to the first floor, including all the smoke damage down the hallway. This is the apartment that got most of the damage. That person, one man lives in that apartment. He is displaced this morning. Several others and Red Cross is assisting. You're going to hear from more residents throughout the hour, and we're going to get inside to show you the damage from there. I'm in Denver, Eric Lufer, 7 News Now.